Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Rackers here, and this is season two of my Vancouver Whitecaps career mode, this is episode number two in that series. We've got the last bit of the preseason trophy going on at the minute, so we're going to be simming that as I do the introduction, so then we're going to be going with our main starting lineup for the first team. So, in this episode, what I want you to do is, when you leave your kind of comments down below, someone to change their either their number or their appearance, anything like that, then I will change it and show you in a coming episode, so leave that down below if you want to see that so we're against america now it's a bit strange canada versus america but i know it's club america but you know it's a joke anyway so we're going to go through that uh watson gets sent off but chorney manages to get the goal so that's awesome so we managed to keep our 100 record going through this preseason tournament which is always very nice to see going into the semi-final and we're against tijuana Tijuana, Mexico! Anyway, so let's see what the news is. Tournament prize money with 161,000, and that's Watson's back. And now the semi final against Tijuana. We brought in Edgar for the band Watson, and let's see how this one goes. Club Tijuana, I love that. Is that. I don't know what animal that is. Leave it in the comments down below if you know what that animal, animal, animal is. And. Oh god, Opara gets sent off, and we lose. Hmm. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? Right, guys, I thought this episode was going to be longer than what it actually was because I thought we would easily get through to the cup final and then, obviously, I would play that. But seeing as we got knocked out to Tijuana in the semi-final, I'm kind of left with what to do. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of filler for this episode. So we're going to do a squad report, show you what is going on and who finished the regular season with what stats and all, all that kind of stuff. So, obviously, we've got Usted, 75 overall, got 15 clean sheets combined between the MLS and the two in this competition. There are his stats now. We've got Carducci, who has just come back from loan, uh, made one appearance, kept a clean sheet in that as well. There are his stats, obviously not as good as Usted, 20 years old, plenty of room for growth. Tornahy, um, I'm going to be getting rid of him. I want to get rid of him. Stats aren't that good. Carducci is now well and surpassed where he has been. Andrew Farrell, new signing, joined for 2.4 million, value at 1.6. Probably played a little bit more for him, but we had to break his contract because he had um, I think a three-year deal with um, New England that we had to break, so that's why we spent some more money. There are his stats. Really happy with him as an acquisition. Made two appearances so far in the Invitational Cup. Chipped in with one goal last season, so let's see if we can get him another goal this season. Cole Sealer. Young right back, 22 years old. We're going to be trying to move him on either transfer or on loan. Jordan Smith, he is going. He is still, don't get me wrong, he is a cracking player. And if we weren't trying to absolutely nail this championship this year, he would be our starting right back. But I wanted to just get someone in a little bit better. He will be rotated and we'll see as much game time as last season, hopefully. Ike Apare got too much ban after that. But his stats are just amazing. Look at that physical stats. He's just absolutely insane. Great player for us when we signed him last season. And hopefully he'll continue this season. Same with Kendall Watson. Him and Opara just lethal at the back. I mean, his acceleration and sprint speed are terrible, but he is damn good. Doesn't really matter. Edgar, again, physical stats are all very, very good. Made it, got three goals mostly from headers last season. Tim Parker, he should be starting in most teams, but with Watson and Opara ahead of him, he's just game times are slightly reduced, but I will be getting him some more game time with those players either getting injured or banned. Dean, again... The thing is, Dean, again, he's a solid player, but he's just no room for him in this team at the minute, so that's why he's on loan. And it could be just come back. Look at his stats, looking very good. He's already gone up two, and I haven't trained him yet, so that's good. Jordan Harvey, physical stats will be decreasing because he is getting old, but I do like that um, that facial hair. Looks pretty awesome. Marcel de Jong also as well, looking pretty good. But um, he's uh, coming to the twilight of his career and with Adequid Bay snapping at his heels, these game times are going to be reduced for the next season. Tony Chorney already got two goals in the Invitational Cup and his stats are pretty good. That strength and stamina obviously is standouts in the 90s. Russell Tabert, let's have a look at his long shots. Only 52, but he got the goal of the season last season in my opinion for this series. Anyway... 
Um, obviously looking to get him in and spell his time in. Jonathan Harrison, youth player, I'm going to be trying to spam his training something rotten so we can get to that um, board objective to get in plus five and then play him in five games as well. So he's our main training focus this year. Andrew Jacobson, transfer listed, 31 years old, trying to move him on. Christian Teixeira, my, my favorite, second favorite player in this entire series. Agility, acceleration, balance, stamina, sprint speed, brilliant. Finishing's getting up there, crossing and ball control, dribbling all in the high 70s as well. Absolutely love this guy. Rafael Henriques, or Henriquez, sorry. I keep saying Henriques, it's Henriquez. Uh, obviously, our scout future star from last season. We need to send that scout out again this season, actually. Coming up nicely, stamina, um, sorry, sprint speed is okay. Could do with it being a little bit better. Bolaños, 32. Still got good physical stats for a 32-year-old, but we're going to try and move him on. Discarude, passing stats across the board look pretty good. And his agility, stamina, looking all right as well. Ben McKendry, will be moving him on. Nothing really to focus on on him. Daniel Roy, a new signing. Every good, every stat that I need him for is looking good. Need his short passing up a little bit higher though. Got to say that. Mane, just look at that acceleration. 99 and 94 sprint speed. Definitely going to be using more of an impact player this year because I think he'll do better in that role. Roya can just bully the defenders a little bit and then Mane can come on and just go whoop straight past them. Morales, the beast, the clutch master general. Unfortunately, with him being 31, he is going to degrade a little bit. But look at that: 20 goals in the, over the course of the two appearances, uh, over the course of the two competitions. Marcos Bustos, decent player. We'll be loaning him out to get him some experience because he's only 20. Nicholas Mesquida, I love him. I really do. He's going to be the next Morales. I'm just pointing that out there. He's going to be the next Morales. Nigue's finishing and he's crossing up a little bit and he's passing. But he is the next Morales. Giles Barnes, main striker. Strength, stamina, all in good high 70s. Finishing only at 70. Probably doing training that up a little bit. With him mean 28, still a little bit of room for growth. 28 is apparently the golden age for strikers. Yeah, apparently. I don't know where this stat comes from, but apparently the years between 26 and 29 is exactly where strikers hit their form and become the best strikers that they can be. So let's see if that happens to Jip Barnes this season. Dom Dwyer. He's now saying his morale is happy. But look at those stats. There's a lot of greens across the board. He should be better than what he played last season. Hopefully this year with him playing in a little wider role and supporting striker, he can do a lot better and can flourish. Diego Rubio, again, he's not as good as Dwyer. Statistically, he's nowhere near as good as Dwyer. But let's hope he can chip in with some goals. I mean, he's made two appearances for us, hasn't picked up a goal yet. But then again, neither has Dwyer's made three appearances and hasn't picked up a goal yet. So we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, Kudo, very unhappy, but I don't really care because I want to move him on. Perez, he's going to be moved on as well. So that sums up our squad report going for this season. This is where we're up to, so I'm going to be leaving it here. I want you to comment down below who I should sign, if I should sign anyone else, because I've got two weeks of just simming to the end of the regular seat, end of the transfer window. So you've got to tell me in this episode who you want me to sign. Otherwise, I'm happy with where I am and I'm just going to sell people. So leave that down in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, sorry, it's not been much FIFA content, but it's just pre-season stuff trying to get it all ready for the regular season. Come back to the next episode. We will be starting the regular season, so you will see some gameplay and you'll see how this new team performs. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I've been Rackers and I'll see you on the next one. Try.